William Henry Harrison was a US Army officer who wanted to engage in politics and change American society. A man who lived from honesty and didn't want to benefit from the military and state functions he performed. He cultivated corn and established a distillery to produce whiskey, but closed it after he became disturbed by the effects of alcohol on its consumers. It shows what kind of person he was. Harrison first time entered the race for the presidency as a Whig party candidate in 1836. He wasn't the only candidate of his party. It was the first time that one party ran more than one presidential candidate. But Vice President Martin Van Buren, the Democratic candidate, won the presidency. In the next presidential campaign in 1840, Harrison was his party's only candidate. Although the nickname was given to him by the Democrats, Granny Harrison, the petticoat general, because he resigned from the army before the war of 1812 ended. He won the race. The financial crisis of 1837 was crucial to his victory. After the victory, Harrison wanted to prove that he didn't deserve the nickname he received in the campaign. The inauguration of the ninth American president took place on March 4, 1841, on cold and wet day. The new president refused to wear a hat and coat. He rode horseback to the grand ceremony and then delivered the longest inaugural speech in American history. It took him nearly two hours to read. Following the speech, he rode through the streets in the inaugural parade stood in a three-hour receiving line at the White House and attend three inaugural balls that evening. It might be dangerous. He's proving as an wavering man who gambled with his health even after the inauguration contributed to his severe illness only a few days later. Doctor state pneumonia and despite all the efforts the ninth president of the United States of America passed away only 31 days after he became president. If this hadn't happened, maybe America would have been a different society. Who knows? Maybe the answer is written somewhere in the stars. Ah!